Welcome back, folks, to another fabulous episode of Three Pound Fishing. I'm with my buddy Mark Terry. Check him out. Who remembers Mark Terry? <laughs> Mark Terry was a guy that taught me about crankbait fishing. If you remember, way back in the day, we did an episode about crankbait fishing on Kincaid Lake. Did we get wet that day? Yeah, we got really wet. <laughs> we got really, really wet. wet. <laughs> so uh, we're out here checking out the LVS 34. So if you check that thumbnail out, I'm sure I was I talk about it. So this is my first experience with the LVS 34. I get asked all the time, do I have one? Have I got one ordered? And uh, currently I don't have one ordered. And uh, this is my first experience. Now Mark has a 126 SV, um, which is my all time favorite monitor. I think it's just a great price point, great picture. And I'm getting my first visual of the LVS 34. And right now, I can say that I'm, I'm very impressed. I think it looks very good. Um, but by the end of this episode, I'll kind of come to a conclusion as to whether or not it's worth upgrading from your LVS 32 to the LVS 34. Now, Mark's got a beautiful boat. It is mounted on a device called a scanner on his old tricks. So that's what we're working with right now. And uh, we're gonna try to put some fish in the boat for you and talk about the LVS 34 and maybe some of the things that we're liking what we see. Is this your, how many times have you been out This there? is actually my second time out, but uh, this is my first real time trying to fish with it. So I'm new to it too. Yeah, so we've tweaked it. We, we messed with the color game. I, I don't think it did anything different. We went from, he had it set at 30. Were those the default settings? No, those are uh, settings they, uh, I you just had. put in. I was just playing with it. All right, so we changed the goal, the color game to zero. Didn't seem to do any change, to be quite honest with you. Um, so that didn't make a massive impact. But either way, stick with me. I appreciate it. We're going to have fun with the LVS 34. First experiences. Here we go. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. So Mark has also got the cornfield crappie mount, the double mount right there. So if people ask about that, he's got a beautiful, the bridge right here. He's got the double mount right here. Um, like I said, a 126, a helix. So check out cornfield crappie gear. Check out PTG. That's where I get all my electronics. And uh, let's put some fish in the boat, Mark. All right, we've caught a couple fish. Got about four or five in the bucket right now. Um, I guess, you know, the, the, the advantages that I'm told is that it's separation of that's target. That's 75 feet. That's it. We can see feet, fish at 75 uh, feet. Yeah, and then the, the ability for it to cat, look further out and actually identify fish. So clearly, you know, in terms of the range, it's it's very good. I think that the, the, the target separation up close, and I'll show you that here shortly, um, looks looks great. I like the palette he uses. That's the palette I've been using. Um, but this is at 50 feet. That kind of gives you an idea. If you guys have some suggestions on settings for Mark, you guys can comment below and uh, I'm sure he'll watch the video and see what the comments are in terms of settings. Your preferred settings for the LVS 34. Getting the perspective from the passenger, passenger perspective. <laughs> Somebody asked me if I'd ever That's been in, in the back seat of my truck before. I was like, no. He was like, you ought to sit back here. Oh, that's a good one. There you go, folks. There's our first fish. The new LVS 34. That's a good one. That's a good one. I gotta say, Mark keeps a very clean boat. <laughs> it's nice and clean. And I like the perspective of uh, being the passenger instead of uh, the driver. I don't have to worry about the trolley motor. <laughs> Man, it's that's different. A, it's different, you're right. People don't understand how hard it is to actually control a boat, try to fish, keep you on fish yep. and everything. Yeah, that's it's diff going. very difficult. Yeah, this is like a vacation right here. 
There's good fish there. So let me show you what we're seeing here, uh -huh. folks, because I know that that's I know that's why you're tuned in, right? You just want to see what it looks uh -huh. like. So you know my my overall impression is it's it's like kind of what people are saying. It's a little bit better, but is it worth upgrading from the LVS 32? I would I would probably say no. That would be my opinion. That's not a rip on the LVS 34 because I do think it is slightly better. Uh, but at the same time, I don't know if it's worth spending a, an extra grand to, to get yeah, there. It's two grand almost. Well, well the black that's box. It, yeah, yeah, the yeah, black if box. you got the black box, yeah. So I would just be buying the transducer, which I believe is a either 1100 or something like that. But look at that picture. That picture is really good. That's uh, extended out at 40. Um, but is it night and day difference? I'm gonna say no. Um, and Mark keeps his stuff really clean, so. <laughs> I mean, the screen's even clean. I don't know what to say. But anyway, it's fun to play with it. Uh, fun to be in the passenger seat. And so we're just gonna keep putting fish in the boat for you. There you go. There it is. This is, listen, now that's a good visual drop at 38 feet right there, I think. Right in the money maker right there. There it is. Yep. I knew I had a good uh, drop, a good line. Fish are going in the boat. Mark Terry's boat. <laughs> He's a smaller guy, but right there. funny because usually I'm the one that's catching fish <laughs> yeah. and my, my brother yeah, he funny. just sits there and he go back there and eat a sandwich <laughs> now your brother's going to see this what <laughs> yeah. are you, gonna say? you don't want that you tell me if you want me to put that in there or not <laughs> you can tell <laughs> he yeah. would know he would know too because he would look he was like I'm usually the one over there sitting there. like what in the world <laughs> oh that's awesome Right there. Right, well, there go. Back to the fish guys. I'll let this one go, but if you see, this is a uh, a yeah. black nose right black there. Black nose, yeah. A little black nose all the way down. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And uh, pretty fish. That's what you mean by them coming off the bottom. Yep. Uh, they they on yep. the ledge right. Oh, that is a good picture. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm letting Matt catch these fish because uh he says he, he never gets a passenger, be a passenger too often. So, hey, I'll, I'll let him do it right now. <laughs> no, but man, I appreciate you coming out with me this morning. Oh, heck, I appreciate it. I, me and Mark, ever since we went on a guided trip a long time ago, we've always stayed in touch and he's helped me with crankbait fishing. And we've always stayed in touch, whether it's via text, phone call, <laughs> even regards like technology, all that stuff. So I always will appreciate Mark Terry. <laughs> always, always. That's the greatest thing about guiding, you know. I'll be I'll be honest with you. That is the greatest. You meet the most incredible people, and uh, the relationships I've gained. By guiding is the most valuable thing you ever get out of guiding. That's, that's so, cool, so cool because you know you you would never run across them. And fishermen are crazy. I mean, they're they're crazy cool people, you know. <laughs> well, it's actually kind of a lonely sport in my opinion because uh, you know you're out there alone. You, you you come here today, you know, to fish alone, and by golly, you got me in the boat for a little while. But uh, 
you're by yourself and then you got an angler over there by himself and you know wherever they might might be but it, and you and then there's of course the rule that you don't want to get near somebody right, you know because right. you don't want to disrupt what they're doing right so it is kind of a lonely sport but guiding has allowed me to meet so many people um face to face and have actual conversations with them for for the six hour guide trip you know so and that's always been a pleasure and that's lot that's it's added it's uh created this long relationships with a bunch of them so i'm about to put another one in the boat here mark this is how it's gonna happen right here yeah yeah i don't think he's gonna cooperate i don't think he's gonna cooperate with you Egypt is being stubborn. Hey, they being a little bit stubborn, but they being downright nasty to me as usual. So that's a really good picture right there. I like that picture. You know, I'd probably have it about the same. I'd probably have it at that. That would be my view in my boat. Mark takes advantage of the full screen, which is the smart thing to do, in my opinion. But, so... Just kind of getting an idea of what it looks like but that's a good picture throw it in there let's show that jig off see if it's uh let's see where we are. there it is driving so he's just a little offline line is super super important as we all know, because there's even a variance if you think you are in line. Um, I believe it's about two feet. I don't know what the number is, but you can think you're right online, but you can still be missing. That's a pretty good, pretty good drop. And there it comes right through it. All right, we're breaking out the uh, the umbrella. If you saw my episode, I have a solution coming. I'm excited to share that with you. But uh, old Mark Terry's got this big old umbrella, patio umbrella, I'm guessing. Yeah. And uh, we putting it up. This is gonna be the first time I've ever fished under one of these, Mark. Comfort. pretty good I'm comfortable already so yeah folks my conclusion is if you are in the market for live scope and you don't need to spare any cash go ahead get the LVS 34 it's better there's no doubt about it, it's better but if you currently have the LVS 32 updating upgrading to the LVS 34 well simply put I just don't think it's worth the extra thousand dollars an LVS 32 is a fantastic device and uh, and the 34 is better but it's just not quite that much better at least for me anyway love to hear your feedback and appreciate it this is a first impression review thanks guys